Auctions can be pretty hit and miss because while well, there's a chance you might be picking up something that looks like junk but is actually a priceless antique, most of the time people just purchase furniture and ornaments from those who no longer need them. For Phil Leclerc, he was probably aware of this when he spent $40 on an old desk at Kelly Auctions in Holbrook, Massachusetts. However, when he took it home and looked inside, a family's life would change forever. Marge Kelly charged with running Kelly auctions with her family is someone who knows how exciting auctions can be in an interesting interview with the Boston Globe in October of 2014 just a month before Leclerc bought his $40 desk she was asked as most auctioneers are what the highest price of an item sold via her company had sold for at auction Kelly revealed it was a Gustav Stickley desk organizer in 2007 with inlay by Harvey Ellis there were only six made it went for two hundred fourteen thousand five hundred dollars the lady who brought it in tried to sell it to us for a few hundred dollars But we said we'd auction it for her Alluding to the practices of many auction houses Kelly revealed that she'd been raised by the age-old mantra that honesty is the best policy Someone else could have bought it and flipped it, but we wouldn't do that. My brother and I were raised right she said to put it bluntly the Kelly family business was more interested in helping out their clients than making a quick buck themselves in another instance, she had to convince a client not to throw away an antique rug when clearing their home. Another time we were doing a house cleanout for a client and found an antique rug in the dumpster, she remembered. We got $9,700 for the client, who threw it out because he thought it was a piece with holes in it. You never know. Phil Leclerc of Weymouth, Massachusetts, acquired his vintage desk in November 2014 with a measly $40 bid. The item's official name is a Governor Winthrop desk believed to be named after John Winthrop an Englishman who was a co-founder of the Massachusetts Bay Colony in 1630 However, the desk's name is puzzling when you consider that its type didn't appear until years after Winthrop's death in 1649 It's thus thought that the Winthrop Furniture Company of Boston introduced a Governor Winthrop desk in 1924 a time when colonial style furniture was very much in vogue with that said the desk itself was not a valuable antique as proven by its $40 sell-off The desk that we took in we see them practically every day Kelly told WCVB Channel 5 Boston News However, what it contained inside was more than your typical everyday type of item The sale of the desk was spawned after a 94 year old local man's son had asked Kelly auctions to empty out his father's home the son was trying to sell off as much of his father's possessions as possible to help finance his father's care home costs and Thus the old man's belongings would be auctioned off in Holbrook, Massachusetts Just a 20-minute drive from the clerk's home in Weymouth Well, nothing of value was found one thing that stood out from the clearance was the governor Winthrop desk Well, not life-changing in its value Marge Kelly was nonetheless asked to clean it up and put it up for one of her regular auctions in hopes It would fetch a tidy sum Indeed while not going for thousands or even hundreds for that matter Leclerc snapped it up for 40 bucks and both parties seemed happy with the transaction But soon after taking it home Leclerc realized that he got more than he bargained for This desk is notorious for hidden compartments Leclerc would later tell WCVB Channel 5 Boston it had a broken foot the filial was missing he added one of its knobs had also been caught under one of the desk drawers and it was then that Leclerc made a fascinating discovery Speaking to wickedlocal.com Leclerc recalled I banged the desk forward and when the knob came out the envelope dropped What the envelope contained was astonishing and it sure made up for the initial $40 outlay The first thing I saw was a $500 bond. He added it was absolutely amazing We found 50s and then we found hundreds 200s 500s and then we found a stack of six $10,000 bonds Soon Leclerc was sitting on $127,000 in matured United States savings bonds a life-changing sum by anyone's standards But just like the auction house he purchased it from Leclerc prided himself on integrity and knew straight away That the only thing to do would be to contact Kelly in a bid to trace the rightful owner Having dealt with the family Kelly was able to contact them right away the family had been looking for them for years Kelly told the globe before describing the moment she returned the bonds to the son He was so happy it could not have happened to a nicer guy. We love stories like this. It's why we do what we do With the return of the lost bonds the son would be in a much better position to look after his 94 year old father
It's a lot of money, Kelly said. I mean, it's going to change their lives, completely change their lives. Another similar story went viral in 2013 after Noach Muroff purchased an old desk from Craigslist. The rabbi from New Haven, Connecticut acquired it for 150 bucks, but it soon transpired to be worth a whole lot more. It fit perfectly into my van, he told VIN News, but when we got it home, it was about a quarter of an inch too big to fit into my office. It was then that Muroff dismantled the desk to get it to fit in the room. But while doing so, he noticed a plastic bag crammed behind one of the drawers, and just like a scene from a movie, there was cash in it. We brought it to the table and counted it out, and there was $98,000, the rabbi recollected. My wife and I both knew immediately we would return it. She was speechless when we called her to tell her we had found it. Once again, honesty was apparent, and the earnest nature of Rabbi Muroff, Phil LeClerc, and Kelly is an example to tell us all, however old we may be, but the real question is, what would you do if you stumbled on that much money? Let us know, honestly, in the comment section below.